Jordan Love comes in at quarterback for the Green Bay Packers. Oh my goodness! Jordan Love made them pay. Touchdown pass play on fourth down by Jordan Love. Love takes the hand off. He's into the end zone and he spins the football like a top. <laughs> All right, we're coming off Father's Day weekend, and if you're on social media, you might have been a little confused here. Jordan Love had posted a video wishing Bears fans Happy Father's Day. So they're like, oh, he's picking up on the Rodgers thing. But then they said, wait a second, if you're wishing us Happy Father's Day, then we're your daddy, right? Well, Jordan clearing things up for us uh, was asked to do a special favor for a fan, didn't think much of it, but people ran with it. Anyway, you slice it. Hope everyone had a great Father's Day. This is one of the nights, man. Let's be special today. Play with some passion today. We back at the crib. And we rolling from here on out. Play with some swag, make your plays, and let's lean on each other. Fam on three, one, two, three. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get it today. Come on. Come on, one first down, and we're going now. Let's go. It's all quick game. You know that well they're going to do it. That's why we're going to make quick and prop moves. Yeah. Keep going, baby. Keep going. I told y'all I'm with the aliens, baby. Hey, Joe, you got this. I need a red pen. How do you respond? That is the epitome of resiliency. Yeah! I told you. Grown ass man play right there. Ah! Ah! I seen number 10 coming across the field. I said, oh, snap, he fast. He ran right in front of me. I was like, wow, is he really overthrowing it? Huh? Took it down the sideline, turned up with my guys, gave the football to a little kid wearing 23. Guess I got to score another one to bring him out. Hey, get your breath, baby. Blow this team, bro. You gonna win with him? Everybody get one. Great job! Help! Yeah! That's a damn good job, man. Nobody blinks in here. That's for my mama right there. Keep hey, your breath. Hey, you know, right back. Hey, I'm ready. Go get another one. Ready. I think you look dope, bro. I think you look sweet. You look right, 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 right. Always use your manners. Sunday night football. Sunday night football. Walking aliens. You see it. Hell of a job. It's all about having Hell. fun. Hell. Just keep having fun out there. In the, the end ball, zone. baby. In the end zone. Meet me there, beat me there. 74 is real. That's a big hey. boy play, dog. Huh? Get three up. plays in a row now. That's three. We did it right. Keep going. Stay locked in. They come in bunches. Let's put together our perfect game. Do block. Do block. Ah, oh, bro. That's how you turn me up. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm getting really emotional right now. It's been a rough. <laughs> Since M-Rob's on the show with me, I got to keep it real with everyone. That video had a little bit of everything for Packers fans. Take a look at some of the numbers, though, for their linebacker in Preston Smith. Entering his ninth season in the NFL, he's one of two players since 2015 to have 50 TFLs, 50 sacks, and five picks. The other guy, T.J. Watt. Damn, Preston, you keep some good company. You and Watt and some of those numbers, I'll take that. Um, Want to ask you, obviously, about what's happening this offseason, and I know you've been asked like a gazillion times about Aaron Rodgers, so not even going to go there. I'm going to ask you about the dude that's actually playing for your team in Jordan Love, young quarterback, ton of potential. What's it been like for you on the field watching him play? I mean, you know, most people didn't get a chance to really see Jordan and what he had to do, and I've seen him in practice going against the scout team last year, and you know, when he got a chance, Jordan has a lot of ability and we have a lot of confidence in him, man. He has a, a lot of things that can help his team and we feel like he has a lot of confidence and I feel like this is going to be a year for people to, to see what Jordan really made of. All right, Preston, man, check this out, man. Like, what's the... What's the what's the talk in the locker room, man? Because for so long, this team was defined by a Hall of Fame quarterback. You know what I'm saying? And is it talk like you guys kind of got to, does the defense got to have a different role? Like, like, what's the talk in the locker room about how this defense is going to be defined in this season? Well, personally, we feel like last year won our best season as a defense, man, with so much talent on our defense. Uh, we know we have to step it up a lot. And knowing, how we, and knowing we have a young quarterback, we have to, be tremendous this year. We got to make sure that we step up and um, we do our part to help him get comfortable out there on the field, like, you know, getting the ball in great situations, getting stops, and let him get comfortable back there and make sure that we put him in great situations. It's not just about him putting us in great situations, about us helping him be comfortable and put him in great situations, getting him the ball in a great field position and getting stops so that, you know, he can go down the field and get, and get us touchdowns and do his thing and gain his confidence throughout the season.
Preston, that's a really good way of looking at it, that holistic view. I um, want to have some fun with you, too, because Adam Rank, who's the biggest Bear fan in the building, we have been having him do schedule breakdowns for every team in the NFL, game by game, pick by pick. I, if you're cool with it, I, I just want you to check out and get your reaction on at least the beginning portion of the schedule. T take, a, take, a, take a listen. Let's take a look at the Green Bay Packers, where they start the season for the first time in, what, three decades without a Hall of Famer? At quarterback, although Jordan Love was third team all Mountain West during his last season at Utah State. So who knows what's going to happen, but I think they're going to open up with a couple of losses, a little bit of an adjustment period, but you know what? They'll get it rolling. Got a couple of wins in here, three consecutive wins, including this one against Josh McDaniels, Jimmy Garoppolo, and the Las Vegas Raiders. And then they go out on their bye week. They got the Denver Broncos. On the road, I think they take that one. I think they take this one against the Minnesota Vikings. And even... Right. Beating the L.A. Rams. Oh, okay. Let, let, uh, thank you. Let's pause it there. Six and two, Preston. All right, once again, he's a Bears fan, but six and two. It's June. If if I said to you, you guys could be six and two to start the year, would you sign up for that? Man, that's, that's, I feel like that's a great start, man. But uh, uh, another stat I got for him is, uh, you know, in my career, I've never lost to the Bears. So, <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't see that happening. Yeah. I don't, I don't see that happening. You know, like, I'm, I'm undefeated personally against the Bears. Every time I played them, I never lost. So that's including the Packers and even when I was in Washington. And, and I, I plan on continuing that streak. I, I love that. By the way, I cannot wait to get Adam's reaction to you saying that next time he's in studio with us. But, all right, let's take a closer look. You like 6-2 and two in that start, but here's how Adam sees the rest of the schedule playing out. Before they drop one against the Pittsburgh Steelers, they got a tough one playing host to the L.A. Chargers, but I think they'll win that one before losing to the Detroit Lions, I think. Yep, that's what I had. Uh, Kansas City, there's no way you're beating Kansas City. You're on the road against the New York Giants. I do not think you're better than that team. But a win over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and now here comes a very pivotal part of the season. You're eight and six, could be making the playoffs. A lot of buzz, but you know what? I don't think you're going to beat the Carolina Panthers here. I don't think you're going to go on the road and beat the Minnesota Vikings and then playing at Lambeau. Oh, I'm going to go with the Chicago Bears right there. That's right. Am I a little biased, a little one-sided? Sure. But eight wins for the Green Bay Packers, that seems pretty optimistic for me. That's what I got, and I'm sticking to it. Mm. Oh, now. The now the hold up now before you respond. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, look, and he's a hater sometimes. Rank could be a hater. We know that at NFL Network, okay? But w what's your reaction to the 8 and 9 record he gave you guys? It's a little delusion in there. It's a little delusion in there. And I mean, you need a guy like that to, you know, to add some delusion, to, to spice things up. But, you know, I think y'all need to um, test his, his blood alcohol content level when he walks in the building next time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the crazy thing is, M. Rob? He's never met Adam, but yet kind of knows Adam really well, which is sort of why. Kind of knows him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's when it's, all, when it's all said and done. Without even meeting him, you, you got the pulse of Adam Rank. Um, Preston, I, look, man, we do appreciate you having some fun with us uh, on the schedule. Um, look, and, and the one thing that is abundantly clear, you guys have been in such a major storyline uh, this entire offseason. Before we let you get going, we'd love to just hear... Is it a distraction? I feel like every time I watch a Green Bay player do an interview, it circles back to a guy that's not even on the team anymore. I mean, no, nah, I mean, you know, Aaron been here for, you know, 18 years, right? 18 yeah. seasons. And and all, when you hear about the Packers, always Aaron Rodgers and the Packers, and now it's a new face at quarterback. And now it's some more attention that has to be brought to the quarterback position because before Aaron it was Brett, and then, you know, from Brett to Aaron to now is is Jordan gonna live up to that that legendary that legendary status and um, and follow the line of the legends that came before him. And I believe he has a lot of potential. He has a lot of athletic ability, he has a lot of throwing ability, and he just has a lot of overall great quarterback. He got a lot of great quarterback attributes, and I feel like he'll be great. You know, just gotta let him get in there, get comfortable and, and get the floor. Cause I've seen him make some great athletic throws. I seen him do a lot of things in practice that I was like, hey, that kid is, he's almost ready. You know, in the past, and I feel like now the Packers believe in him, the team believes in him, a lot of guys believe in him, and we believe, you know, he's ready to lead his team on offense. Yeah. Preston, love that answer, love it for Jordan. You're a pro, man. Really do appreciate you giving us some time here in the summer on Total Access. We're going to be pulling for you, man. Can't wait to see you on the football field this upcoming season. Thank right. you for having me.